I'm getting, I'm basically becoming one of those freaking millennials by um, getting these, which is like one of those lights that you put around your um, television. Or, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You see every single one of them, they'll be like, uh, this is going to be good for a thumbnail video. This is going to be good for, oh, yeah, you just put it right here like, <laughs> the, the, the fucking the, the, the soy reaction face the fucking like Doug Walker shit oh yeah which I gotta make a thumbnail whoa <laughs> exactly yeah so uh I dare you to put these in there whoa whoa <laughs> yes, just just put that and oh, <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm putting this in. I think, what are the interview questions? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fire those really quick. Um, let's see, so. Life before content creating, books versus films, movie reviews, so basically this is like early content, characters that you do, Toxic Dragonfly and where that came from, riffs, Christmas commercial breaks, Critical Kid Tastes, series in the works and then upcoming projects and social media plugs. yeah because um i'm trying to look and see is it sad that the webcam that i have right now looks better than the actual footage i'm recording now <laughs> oh it's, it's okay like i said i i got recording i got skype recording and we have our cameras recording so hold I, on i can i can tinker with it i, I feel i feel like I'm a part of cancel culture. <laughs> oh, by the way, I came up with a Swigga idea parody for uh, cancel culture, but... So, so what was your idea? What was your suggestion? Okay, so, um... I know you already parodied Smells Like Teen Spirit, <laughs> but, um... What if you were to do it again, and it's called Smell Like Mean Spirit? Where it's basically, you know, talking about all the, you know, trolls versus cancel culture stuff going on. But that could work. Where it's okay, so basically I came up with some lyrics when um brainstorming. It was like Load up the gun, Kurt Cobain. Oh no, that joke was in poor taste. Um, it was he will get fired, rest assured, for all his mean, offensive words. Cancel, 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 swagger. Cancel, 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 what they all say, fuck the haters. They, <laughs> they got sticks up their buttholes. It's like la 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 da ba ba da. But you don't know what they're saying. But it's like they got sticks shoved up their buttholes like they're nine inch fucking dildos. <laughs> I like that. That's good. I like that. Do 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 gay. Do, do, do. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Hey! Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, God. Now, if I were to do, like, the, the PC characters of this, could I use my Peter Collins character? Oh, like, easily yes. offended. Yes. Yeah. And if you disagree with that, you're a, you're a dog faced corn pop loving pony soldier. Wait, where am I? You're in the retirement home, Joe. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Mitch McConnell here. <laughs> I'm a human turtle. And today, we're basically saying that, Trump, you're not fired. Oh, thank God, I, I'm glad. But you are going to be acquitted. What does that mean? Pinch? I, I can't, I can't understand that big word. What does it mean? You probably give me like a cup of water or something. It's okay. Yep. Daddy, I need a cup of water so I can sleep. This is your 20th cup. That's bullshit. That's bullshittery. You know how um, toddlers, they would be like, 
Dad, can I get a cup of water? Dad, can I get a cup of water? It's like, no, you're not sleepy. You're just saying that so you can stay up longer. <laughs> Which, if I was a parent, be like, yeah, go ahead, stay up. We don't have anything else to do. What is a freaking four-year-old going to do? I mean, obviously not school. But I don't want to go to school, Daddy. All right, then grow up in a... Well, great. Just live in a cardboard box. I don't care. <laughs> or, alternately, become <laughs> become an OnlyFans slash Twitch whore. Oh, my God. That's where it's headed. Yeah. At some point, we're going to see like classes where they can teach you how to become a fucking Twitch streamer. And I'm just gonna be like, well, there it goes. There it goes my faith in humanity. Oh no, my faith died a long time ago when I saw people doing random crap like, uh, you know, do Fortnite dances in the street. And Tide Pod challenges. Oh, trust me. There was one time I went to Chick-fil-A through the drive-thru. This was before pre-COVID. And um, what happened was I was trying to go into a parking space. There was these two millennial girls. They were about to go in. And the one that was going into the right door was... It's like... And she starts in the middle of the street does this Fortnite dance. I hugged my horn and like, yeah, what's fucking wrong? <laughs> Everybody, MC Swigger out, Critical Kid out, y'all, peace. Yeah, yo. <laughs> that is so white. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I take back everything I said from the beginning. You should put that yo in the title card. <laughs> That's fucking staying in. I got we gotta leave that. <laughs> <laughs>